What do we got here? Oh, someone left all these chocolate almonds everywhere. Can't wow. believe they just throw them out for free. What does it taste like? <laughs> all right, welcome back everybody. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm kind of, I'm holding a bucket right underneath you right now. I'm carrying dog food right now because it's about mid-April. It's actually still a little early. We're going for uh, for bears in about a month. So we like to feed early. We got dog food. I got fish. We got uh, leftover meat, uh, some roadkill, a bunch of stuff. So I'll be talking about it a little bit. I'll show you some pointers. And uh, let me just get this food over. So, reason why we don't have a lot of food is one, sometimes it's hard to get it. When you go to a grocery store, they won't really let you because of a liability issue. And two, we don't have an ATV to bring it all out here. So we, here we have a bunch of fish here. We got some bread, marshmallows. Uh, if you could buy even like bird feed, you could throw that in there. We have a barrel here that we cut just a hole in it. We're gonna be pouring that bacon in there, get the scent out. I don't wanna be laying too much out here because then you're gonna have a lot of birds and and crows and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna be layering a bunch of dead logs over it, try to make it harder for them to get in there. Does it actually smell like bacon? It's pretty, pretty good, good. like I, I would drink it. Oh, it just smells like smoke, eh? Yeah, no, it's like- It does not smell like bacon like I would, uh, I would definitely eat this. All right, Sander. Just a little bit. Okay. You go, man. Yeah, try it. Try some. You guys go. You know. Don't try this at if home. It, if it's not good for the for the bear, it's not good for me. Or vice versa. Oh, that's gross, dude. You're sitting in the truck bed. Oh my gosh. It's literally like dry. It just tastes like dry bacon grease. Very interesting. All right, save some. Okay. Ugh. Okay, no, just send her. Around? Send her around some trees. High up if you can. On the rock there? Oh, and this log. They like this log. Which one? That one. You can already tell. There you go. Okay, so we're going to come back. We're going to cut some logs. Make a little teepee over this barrel. Make it hard for the bear. I'm not putting any meat or anything outside, at least right now. There's those turkey vultures. And crows just come like crazy and they just destroy my camera. So I'll set the camera up when we uh, yeah. when we get back. So now that I have this set up, I want to put a bunch of logs just over it and make it really hard for this bear to get in there. Just so he gets a little bit comfortable. Spends more time here. Gets used to all the noises. Doesn't just come by to eat and leave. And I want this to last at least a few weeks. And this isn't even full yet. So, All right, so now that you can kind of see what uh what it looks like to cover the barrel it's not only to make it harder for them and to spend more time it's to keep small animals out a lot of weasels and stuff like that will come in so obviously a weasel is not going to come and break this thing down but a bear definitely can and it will get comfortable here it makes it a little more natural i don't know if that does anything uh it is a barrel they're not stupid they do get fed by a lot of other hunters here so maybe they're used to it um the older ones especially so i've actually heard some stories where when people would feed and they still do it is they actually like they tap the barrel or they make like a bell noise every time they feed and the bears come right after they feed so please check your regulations before you start baiting um, a lot of provinces don't allow it for specific reasons a lot of people disagree with it and also agree with it i strongly agree with it i think it's great for the bears great for population you could feed 10 and kill one um, I love baiting. It, it ups your chances a lot. You get to see the bears and watch them longer. I think it's a really great thing. If you don't have an ATV, as well as myself right now, um, you do have to walk it out. And the way you start is download some type of mapping system. I have iHunter. You guys might have Onyx there in the States. Uh, look for public land, crown land, where you can hunt bears. Check your, all your regulations first. Once that happens in early April, even late April, depending on when your season is, you look for bear prints, bear scat, all kinds of sign around mid-April to maybe late May, 
or mid-May they'll start coming other dens maybe even earlier and they'll come out sporadically so they'll be looking to feed but usually in the early season they'll be eating a lot of grass so you could find them I think May 1st here is Ontario season we find them on like hydro lines clear cuts anywhere where there's grass right so they'll be there first but when you bait you want to hunt a little later so last you will get bears coming to your camera but usually around June is actually the peak of baiting so make sure timing is very important you need to know if you're going to be hunting them early season you want to be where grass is they don't typically like food but if later on the season they'll be hitting those barrels hard and it'll be a lot a lot easier to get one what do we got here oh someone left all these chocolate almonds everywhere can't wow. believe they just throw them out for free what does it taste like you actually put it in your mouth yeah cut it out to make it look like mm. dude you actually put it in your mouth mm. Dude, it's dried. It's dried. That wasn't the plan. All right, here's where we set up Jesse's stand. How is it, bud? You know, wobbly as ever. All right, so we're just at the uh, moose eaters stand right now. We're gonna do basically the same thing that we did. We got basically the same bait. He's gonna add a lid to his barrel because he doesn't have one. He has to have a camera and we're gonna get the hell out of here. All right, what's for dinner today, buddy? Looks like some perch. You know, two-year-old perch that I forgot about, some, some pike I forgot about. Uh, we got some leftover fish here, bread. We got leeks for some reason. We got all leftover meat, all freezer burn meat you could throw in there. Just Go in your freezer, I bet you'll find something. Uh, just a bucket for now. It's good enough just to bring the scent. Uh -oh. And uh, the marshmallows are stuck, aren't they? Just and this is some <laughs> roadkill deer, all the trimmings, stuff like that. It's a shame to let this stuff what, go to waste, too. This is all the stuff that got shot pretty bad and bruised up. You can kind of see how red that meat is, too. Three rocks. Three rocks Three gonna rocks. stop a bear. No bears left in that. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. You really think the bear's not gonna knock this down? One shot, one fingernail, I bet. All right, weasel proof. Uh, wolverine or bear? Bear standing up. Hey Jake, you didn't see these bear marks here. Right here, buddy. See? Ew, man, why that? We gotta taste everything. Yeah, it's bear. 100%. <laughs> you taste the honey. Pick this out. Shit, what the look at that, look. I, I'm almost six feet, look. Holy Small shit. bear, maybe? Yeah, you can see the claws. Right? And it's not a wolverine or else it would be like somewhere yeah. else. Look. Hey, so I was reading the bag hey? over there. Check so that, that out. That bears like to line themselves. Ready? Yeah. Surprise, go, go through your deep freezer. You'll yeah. be surprised what you can find in there. Just throw it in. Dirty fish. Is that how Luca gets covered in molasses? It's pretty thick, so. Oh! Oh! Like. Wow. wow. OK, 
get creative with it. You want the bears to stay here longer, you want them to get comfortable. And you don't want the small animals to, or birds to even get to the food. And if you look at this, I just drilled a few holes in this molasses bottle and this will drip for the next following month, hopefully. And then here are some fallen live branches we found from the wind store. Covering some bread, meat, corn, everything. So Jake's good to go. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned some stuff. Like I said, we're still kind of new to it. We're kind of learning our own ways. We're finding what the bears like. We're finding what bait to use and how easy it is. Like I said, you just find an app where you can find Crown Land. Make sure you got somewhat of a 4x4 or all-wheel drive, something. It's always better. It's not needed, but it's always better. I'll have a group of guys because it's always safer to go with. Uh, you can do it by yourself. Just don't wander off too far. That's why having some type of GPS mapping system is very important. And if you can't get bait, use what's in your freezer. Buy stuff 50% off. Uh, all stuff like that. All pointers. Pick a spot where you, there's some bear sign. Where Jacob standing in last year in September, we scouted it out. We found bear scat. We set up a stand there, we even found deer. This is where he hunts deer and bear. They're everywhere around here. So you gotta do a lot, a lot of research. Within a year, you could learn a bunch of stuff online, even watching some videos. And you could go grab a plastic barrel and start baiting for bear. Set up a camera and there you go, it's that easy. Anyways, hope you guys liked that video. I tried to keep it short for you guys. Make sure you subscribe. We're gonna be going turkey hunting soon. So that's gonna be fun. And then following is gonna be bear and some spring pike. See you guys next time.